Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. Welcome to a What's for Dinner, where I show you random dinners that I really enjoy this week. I don't do these often anymore, but I used to do them a lot. I have a playlist that's in my playlist section where you'll see I've done them a whole lot. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Jennifer from Southern Mama Drama. Jennifer is my go-to for meals. Her and Kim's Farmhouse Loft, those two are my go-tos for grocery hauls. I can't tell you how much this woman has, was it, was it the kids call it? I've been... Hashtag influence. Hashtag influence. She calls she causes me to be hashtag influenced. <laughs> I just went and bought some cucumber melon dove body wash because I saw her. She's like the cool one everybody wants to be like. Like I, I just want to smell like her. <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you guys two recipes. I did have three, but I lost footage. I'm the queen of losing footage. Look at me milking this like a cow. This is my wontons. I just take a thing of meat and a thing of sausage and apparently I milk it like a cow. I did this recipe before in a what's for dinner and it did not burn. Um, this one, spoiler alert, it burns. Well, it just gets extra crispy. Um, but I, ha I do have a video, I'll have it linked below where, see I'm having to remember how I made it and I'm having to watch myself make it so I remember how to make it. I'll have it linked down below and you can see that, you know, you, you just don't, you do it the exact same way you do it here. You just don't cook it as long. Um, I got sidetracked. I was talking to my friend Lacey and I totally got sidetracked. But it's okay. They were kind of like crispy fried wontons. I mean, they were pretty good. I'm not mad at them. They were just super crunchy. So what you do is you just cook up your hamburger meat and your sausage meat with some garlic powder, some salt, some pepper. While that's cooking, you want to top you up your vegetables, which is your onions, your cabbage, your carrots. I got this nifty little topper thing right here from one of my friends on here. I didn't even know it, it was being sent. You got you just literally surprised me with it. And I love it so much. I actually didn't know till after I got done topping with it that it actually has two two blades. It has one that I could have used to make my choppy pieces smaller. Next time I'll definitely use that one, but I love it. It works perfectly. It saves me a lot of gray hairs because y'all know, A, I hate chopping. B, I'm dangerous chopping. Oh, 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 back to what I was doing. I was introducing my friend. Yeah, go check her out. Her channel will be linked down below. She is a sweetheart. She's hilarious too. I'll have everything linked down below. Go check her out. Let her know I sent you. If you're new from her channel. Hey, what's up? My name is Marina. I have adult ADHD medically diagnosed. I'm all over the place. I serve food with a side of humor. I'm currently making over my entire single wide mobile home. We do single wide mobile home living. A lot of people in a tiny house. It's basically tiny home living. But yeah, I'm, I just, I, I have fun over here and we love everybody over here. We love even the turds. We love them. They don't, they rarely get flushed, but sometimes I have to flush them. But you know it's it's sad we give them like a little goodbye like memorial and you know like a goldfish like like you would a goldfish also little things like cabbage boats excite me <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling intimidated because I don't know how to cut a cabbage head and I'm 29 years old but them cabbage boats made everything okay Don't try this at home. A lot of things you see me do, just don't try it at home. A lot of the things you see me do, just don't try it. <laughs> It was difficult and I lost it lost my attention span. So I'm just over here weed whacking like Michael Myers in <laughs> the cabbage head.
once your meat is done, you're just going to take all your vegetables that you've put in that bowl that you've chopped up, and you're just going to put them in the pot with it. And you're going to cook it until it cooks down and it gets real soft. You don't want to break a tooth on a carrot in a wonton. So just make sure it's really cooked through and really soft. And it's, it's super easy, y'all. It's like crazy easy. So this is going to seem backwards, but when do I ever seem frontwards, if that makes sense? I use the egg roll wrappers, not the wonton wrappers, because they're different. I use the egg roll wrappers, and you always want to have you a bowl of water sitting there. You're going to put your mixture in the middle of it. You're going to put it kind of like in a diamond shape. Put your mixture in the middle of it, and then like swaddle it like a baby. Like you just swaddle it real tight, and then you roll it. Make sure you dip your finger in water like that. Go around the edges so it'll stick together voila sometimes you make big old ones because your eyes get bigger than your belly and it the stuff kind of busts out of it that's okay those are good too because like whenever you fry it it don't matter it's all going to the same place it don't have to be pretty but for pretty purposes you just want to swaddle it like a baby and then roll it up and make sure you wet the end of it so it'll stick together P.S. Make sure your oil is much hotter than mine. I, I'm just impatient. These are super hard. So they might be just a tad bit overcooked. I almost put my head in that oil. Okay. So they're a tad bit crispy. <laughs> they're hard. But it's okay. Um, when they dry, I'll taste it. When they dry. Yeah, when they dry because they're covered in that. I don't have any paper towels. When they cool off, I'll taste test them. And I'll have Shane. No, Shane won't taste test them. He hates them. Let's try it for a second time because we weren't recording the first time. I'll try to give you an as authentic reaction as I possibly can. This is not crunch. Okay. I have a video where I make them better. I'll link it down below. They're still good, but I didn't overcook them in that video. Like, I overcooked them in this video. So, I'll link it down below. Recipe is just the same. Just don't cook it as long. That wasn't a fart. I was getting repositioned on the couch. The next recipe I'm showing you is one I actually found from Jennifer. I got this from her, and it is a, can't remember what she called it. It's like turkey and rice cook thing. It's, it's so good. I'm just cutting up this turkey, this butterball turkey sausage, and then I'm going to put it in my pan with a pan with a little bit of oil in it, some olive oil, and I'm going to brown it. I'm really just going to cook it a little bit, but Jennifer took the time to actually turn every single sausage over <laughs> and brown it. Um, you know, A plus for thoroughness, <laughs> but I just threw them all in there. I also doubled this recipe, so everything she did, I just doubled it. So I used two things of Butterball sausage packages. I then just removed the sausage out of the pan but left the grease in there and added the onion. I then added some minced garlic and I don't know how much, I just shook it like a Neil McCoy song. Shake it to the left, shake it to the right, come on baby, you know what I like. Don't stick your finger in your garlic thing. Since 
I doubled this. Jennifer used two cups, but I doubled it, so I used four cups of chicken broth. And I used almost two cups of white rice. I used the instant rice. Jennifer used the regular rice. You can use whichever. It works either way. You guys have to try these Ann's biscuits. Holy moly, they taste just like the Red Lobster ones. Best biscuits I've had in a long time. I cooked my rice and the sausage in the chicken broth for about 25 minutes covered on medium. Actually, no I didn't. I brought it to a bowl and then let it simmer for 25 minutes. Oh, this meal was a hit with me. I loved it. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are at. Remember, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Don't forget to check out my friend Jennifer's channel. You guys will love her. I will see y'all tomorrow.